Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to a Raxor release. In 2 minutes and 30 seconds, the servers go offline and we will be ready to take on the boss. Now, before that happens, just quickly speculating what kind of gear will be good or not. I'm thinking Slayer Helm Infernal Cape. I'm gonna start off with Amulet of Blood Fury. Once I understand the fight, I'm gonna move over to Torture. We're gonna be using Torva most likely and Scythe. I would just assume that's best in slot. Ferocious Gloves, Prims and Ultor Ring. Inventory is for sure sub Object to change obviously I don't know what kind of ratio to take but just going out on the first kill with six brews and we'll see how that goes when it comes to slayer points I stacked 3800 not as many as I wanted but it definitely should hopefully be enough for a task or two and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to a Raxor let's bring it on all right so the very first thing we want to do look how many demons are here is rewards on Kuradel and let's make sure we extend a Raxai task yeah so this is just instant extend 150 points down the bin and now we need to be smart before we take any tasks what are we actually throwing away extensions don't really matter but unlocks matter so temporarily we're gonna get rid of the fact that we can get assigned mithril dragons get rid of mithril dragons we're gonna get rid of tazar tasks we're gonna get rid of like a boss as well and i think this should be everything yeah i think we should be good to start skipping we have 3700 points to go through best of luck us how long will it take skeletal wyverns cancel black dragons it's a cancel as well even though this i could go and do super fast cave kraken Wait, can I like disable Cave Kraken? No, right? This could be a good block, by the way. Yeah, this is 9 on the waiting. Is Cave Kraken a good block or just cancel? I think I'll just cancel it for now. Gargoyles, I think this could be high on the list. Let's see. No, this is 8. This is a cancel. Oh, my Slayer points are disappearing. Dark Beasts, man. I could just go and do this, but like, I'm not going to. Cave Kraken again. Kurask, bruh. Cave Horrors is definitely a... Ooh, okay, Araxites are a 10, by the way. Dark Beasts. Okay, so this could also be a block, even though it's a super quick part, but it's 11 waiting. So I might just block this, because otherwise they will keep popping up. It's such a short task, though, so I don't know if it's worth it or not. Hellhounds, this should be on the... This is 10. This is a block as well. So we're losing a decent amount of points here, but... Ooh, Necreal. I think that's pretty high up there. Let's take a look. Uh, Necreal is a 9. I don't think I block Necreals, to be honest. So I'm looking to block Abyssal Demons still. And then, let's see. So Araxites, obviously. Hellhounds, obviously. So Lizardmen and Taz... Maybe Lizardmen are the next block then. Calfites. How often are Calfites? Let's take a look. Calfite is a 9 as well. Suquas. That's a cancel as well. Suquas. Ouch. Yes! There it is, ladies and gentlemen, 202 Araxites. Yes, man! Let's go. And we still have a ton of points. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Let's see what the boss has to offer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are located just a little bit north of Darkmire, right next to the cave. And... Unfortunately, I already went in once, but this is how it looks like. It's beautiful. I mean, I think this was in the game beforehand, but by going just a little bit to the left, we should be able to squeeze through this and don't ask again. And I've absolutely no clue what to expect. So let's take a look. This is a first impression of a boss fight. Okay, well, um, there's an egg. Can I kill the egg? Okay, I can in fact kill the egg. I'm going to pray mage. I don't know what to pray. That looks like a mage attack, though. Okay, the first kill, I'm killing the eggs. Oh, but this is like... I can only do... What is this? Acidic. Can I kill you? Oh, this is not the play. I should just kill the boss, huh? Oh, hell no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oi! Melee. Definitely melee. <laughs> Definitely melee. Hold up. Oh, mirror back. Wait, wait, wait. I'm dealing damage to myself because mirror back, the way it works on RS3, if you don't know. I think I need to bring a single damage weapon, by the way. I really think so because Scythe is kind of trolling me right now. Maybe it's a crush, actually. Let's try crush. But a mirror back, you deal damage to yourself, basically. Uh, when you hit the boss with it. Acidic? I don't think I care about Acidic that much. Maybe, I don't really know. But mirror back is the scary part, I think. 
I'm just brewing here because I don't want to like risk anything. I, I'm just going back to slash because like I don't know if I'm dealing any damage here. Okay, so there's no mirror back out yet. I'm thinking what if I come here with like... Oh, this one explodes. Alright, luckily I moved out of the way. Let's see, is that mirror back spawning? No. Oh wait, so if I'm melee, he melees me. But if I run, then all of a sudden he does the like magical range attack. No mirror back, so still acidic. But there's two acidics now. Scree. Why is he screeing on me? Oh, he's doing like... Wait. He's doing like a bigger attacks or something. Maybe range from the minions? I'm just sitting in Venom. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh no, mirror back is out. Hold up. I think I can finish it through mirror back. I mean, I'm just... It's fine, I'm just brute forcing it right now. There. Okay, first kill. Okay, I used so much food, by the way. Harvest. Okay, so it took me 2 minutes and 43 on the very first kill. We harvest it. We got earth orbs. 40k. Okay, let me bank here. Use crush? Yeah, I, I, I get it. We're gonna be using crush from now on. I'm thinking we need like a, what's a one-handed crush weapon? At the end of the fight, it seems like the fight gets harder and harder, yeah? So what I'm thinking is I take something like claws just for the last part of the kill to make it fast. We did a little bit of change from the first kill to the second. We are now taking obviously the thralls and we are now taking a zombie axe for the mirror back minion uh, because I don't have an inquisitor thingy, but I think it should be fine. So I'm also taking suffering just to kind of see if the minions would kill themselves basically. So rupture, I think this one explodes. So I think the play against this guy is just to do wait for animation, boom, and move. Yeah, so that guy is completely avoidable. Oh, wait, now I have venom dripping off me because I got hit by that attack. Okay, so I need to move when that happens. Hold up, this skill is going phenomenally better. So acidic arachide, I think this one just throws acid. So this you need to dodge. I can't dodge it, so maybe you just walk it out. Okay, so I think now the mirror back is out. Now I could put this on and kill the mirror back. So there we go. Oh, never stand under the boss. Oh my god, that was a lot of damage. Okay, don't go under the boss. I got it. See, like this is what I mean. Second part of the kill is so much harder, so I think I just spec it. But I'm taking so much damage, I think I'm trolling a bit with something. Okay, well, that's the second kill. And now, what happens if I destroy it, man? I think we just keep harvesting, like, I don't want to destroy it. Uh, but let's take a look. Second kill, 129k, we get some runite ore, beautiful. Okay, so here is like two, hit, two, hit. To like, just to kind of not sit in venom for too long. So that's now the fast phase. And I know there is a mirror back there, but I'm just trying to skip everything, including the mirror back, which I think is fine. So that's mirror back dead. And that's the boss dead. Okay, so that was pretty good. I only took two food for that kill. Now, there are two options on the Araxor. If you destroy it, there is double the chance of a pet if I trust my chat. If you harvest, you get the loot. So there we go. Finally, I'd say a fairly clean kill. Uh, yeah, one minute kill there and we got 9k for it. So one of the... Not that good of a loot in this one. We're gonna listen to the boss fight music. Oh shit! Oh! What? What hit me? What the hell? Oh, it's gonna be mad. Don't go under. Under hurts. Ow. Oh, mirror back is out. Alright, there we go. The boss fight music kill is completed. Nearly died in the middle. What do we get for the loot? Ooh, supplies. But I'm banking, I'm banking. There is no way I... I need to make sure I'm safe. I cannot... The music was too loud. Music was definitely distracting me there. Okay. Yeah, we're getting the hang of it. And uh, now I'm also gonna bring the bracelet switch. So we can do this for as long as possible. Wait, exploding spider hits a minus 80 on the boss. Oh shit. Yo, we can try that. It is. Let's tag it this time. And let's see what happens if I go under and then run. Hold up. 
So this and then run. Let's see. Exp yeah, that was 60 damage on the boss. Yeah, that was 60 damage on the boss. 60 damage on the boss. 60 damage on the boss. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, okay. Yeah, I need to figure out, during that enrage phase, I'm not very good at it. Uh, but KC5 already, so it's going good KC-wise, we get some bark. Just as it says Scree, you need to flinch, like Verzik. Oh, so you need to like step back on that, okay. So now we have the Scree thingy. So when it says Scree, I step out, and then I hit. So Scree, step out, okay, I'm trolling a bit. Uh! Do I eat? I feel like I eat, you know. So I need to like step back on that hit basically. Boom, step back, hit. Step back, hit. I'm being cooked, I'm not gonna lie. Die. Alright, we're good, we're good. Okay, we're cooking a little bit, but it's kind of working. Let's bang here after this one. Six kills in a row. 70 U logs. We're gonna try one kill with area sounds. And we're gonna see if that makes it easier to notice when you need to step back on the final phase. It's a recycle boss? Not at all. This is a completely different boss fight in RS3. Okay, so now it's in rage, right? Oh my god. Okay. I'm not very good at this phase. Ah, there we go. That was fine, but then I fucked it. I think with run it was easier, by the way. Yeah, I think this, this phase I like doing with run a lot more. Not back and forth, sideways. Oh, I could run sideways, I guess. We got some wild pies and super combat potion and prayer potion. Okay, let's see now. Like that! I see what you're saying now. Okay. Bracelet, bracelet. Ugh. I was too late on the bracelet, damn it. Okay, bracelet is bait. What do we get? Oh my god, so many supplies. Okay, well, I guess we can stay a bit longer then. Hit on the corner here, boom. Circle this way. Hit here. Circle this way. I'm getting better. Hit here. Go there. Hit here. I did not want to click the boss, by the way. I wanted to run. But that's okay. I'll tank it. Bam. Okay, okay, okay. It's getting easier. Oh! New collection log, a Rexite Venom Sack. What does this do? We send it to the Grand Exchange immediately. I have no clue what it does. Nah, it is tradable, it is tradable. But what do we sell it for though? That is the question. Let's see, selling one for 25k, surely. Nobody is buying an Rexite Venom Sack, bro. That has to be 5 million each minimum. Man, wait, what can I make with this? Hold up, I think you can make a better Venom potion. Let's take a look. Anti-venom? Anti-venom extended. Wait, I used four. Wait, maybe I can sell this. Worst case scenario, this is gonna be useful regardless, right? So venom is 15k. Okay, we're using it. It is what it is. It's trash. Yeah, you can even go like this. And it works beautifully. There we go. We just dodged basically all damage dodgeable. Like that. There's mirror back out though. But that was a beautiful kill, I'd say. Zero food used and 140. 10 kill count. Let's take a look what do we get. Ooh. Double mace, 59k. Yeah, not my cleanest skill for sure, but it's okay. I was using a bit of bruise there. I think I could do probably one more here this trip. So kill 11, rune plate legs, double again. So like you see this mirror back, look, I just use zombie axe and I slap it. That's a 34. I slap it again and it's dead. And otherwise, you take damage whilst uh, that is out, basically, as you're killing the boss. So I don't know if it's worth it yet, I'm still, like, deciding. But I think it's okay. And there we go, we actually utilized the bracelet. Unbelievable, I know, I know, crazy. Okay, kill 12. And we get more uh, rune plate legs, interesting, 75k. And step back and bang, there we go, nice. And we're finally utilizing the bracelet as well, so we're getting better as we go. Ooh, spider cave teleports. Very interesting. This could actually maybe sell for something uh, because it makes the trips here super fast. Uh, but there's another thing for the collection log. Nice. Beautiful. Bracelet. Bam, right on time. Oh. Bang. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we're getting the hang of this definitely. It's becoming uh, really good actually. Kill count 14. Antidotes. What does the boss drop? That's the question, right? That's the question everybody wants to have the answer to. That's why we're doing this the whole day today. Kill count 15. Ooh, one of the good ones, 322k. 
two dragon plate legs. Very nice. Wouldn't it make more sense to use slash on scythe? I think it's the boss is weak to crush. I need to check the bonuses on the Torva because I don't have the Inquis. So I don't know what's actually better. There we go. Let's take a look. Kill count 16. And we get two magic seeds. One, 200k, also pretty decent. Let's bank here. We can try to sell one of these and see how much they would sell for. So 100k to get to the boss faster right now. I'm okay with that, bro. Here, y you know what? You guys take this for 100k and I'm gonna run a little bit. I have absolutely no issue with that. Thanks for the money, buddy. I appreciate it. Alright, so the loot so far looks okay. We're gonna retake the altar ring. Definitely a better option, I'd say. And I'm gonna stick with the blood fury for now. And for the setup, I'm only going with one brew right now. I'm getting very familiar. Obviously, angler, scythe available. And uh, venom combat and I don't bring the stamina potion anymore. I think the easiest are the L steps like these. There we go. That was a bit of a slower kill I'd say. Didn't go that smoothly. 17 kills in and we get... Ooh! More spider cave teleports. Okay, okay, okay. I would understand if they made it like super hard, very low XP and uh, they would give you like a task of 10 Araxors or like 30 Araxors, whatever, right? But they want you to kill this boss a lot. And imagine you kill this boss like 5,000 times. And the fight is like something absolutely crazy. Like super hard to kill. So yeah, I, I do agree that RS3 version of this boss is a lot more exciting. I also understand Jagex why they went with the approach of it's more of a like simple boss in a way. Once you understand like the basic mechanics, the boss does become very easy to kill. And we get a Usid 38k from kill count 18. This goes back on. 21 Rosharks. Yo, Tristan, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you, buddy. I appreciate the donation there. That is uh, very nice of you. And we're gonna pull an item in your name right now. Watch this. Two Runkai shields. Scythe, you need to, like, step back twice some sometimes before you hit it. Very nice kill there. And we get... More cave teleports. Very good. Uh, let's bank and come back. Uh, the trips are becoming nice and long, so we're getting better and better. Okay, let's see the prices of the of these. Who is paying all this money for it? Hey, 605k. Thank you for money. If you're enjoying this video, consider subscribing. And we have now reached a stage where we are very comfortable with the boss, so no more brews are needed. We're taking three prayer potions, combat pot, anti-venom, and SGS for slightly longer trips. And uh, yeah, let's go right back. Me trying to start recording in the middle of a kill, by the way. <laughs> Nearly died it because of it. I forgot the bracelet again. Classic, huh? And we get a Rexite Venom sec again. Only one this time. Wow. Okay, and Wild Pies. There we go. Killed with Explosion. Two room plate legs in this one. 24. More supplies. And the Venom sec. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you guys, by the way. I agree that RS3 version is a lot better. We talked about this a little bit earlier. I think, ultimately, it comes down to the fact that they wanted this to feel more like a Slayer boss. Something you can kill a lot, right? And in RS3, it's just like a straight-up boss. Like, um, yeah. On RS3, you also get crazy loot from the boss. Every kill, right? Loot here is different. But, uh, yeah. I think when you release a boss that has the same name in both games... There is a certain expectations that comes with it, right? And when Araxor is one of people's favorite bosses in RS3, at least mine it was, then the expectation is, oh, it's gonna be one of the best bosses in old school as well. And I can tell you, it is unfortunately not one of the best of bosses in old school, right? But that being said, it is still a fun boss to kill. But it's definitely more a farmable boss. Kill count 25, we got more Venom sacks. We're getting a lot of these now. I don't think you can sell them though. And they alk for 300, so we're just gonna make the extended uh, Venom pots. It's fine. Oh, I'm gonna explode. Oh my god, 70. <laughs> okay, I nearly died. Hey, that's my bad, actually. I'm not bringing SGS ever again. That is not worth it. Four Toad Flex seeds on this one. All right, uh, let's bring the Heli. We try Heli out. If not, we go back to Claws. So that's the spec. I am doing a little bit of trolling though. And there is mirror back out, so maybe that's why. Come to me, and then we're fine. And now it will explode on him. Okay. Not my cleanest skill. Ooh, elite clue scroll. I'll just uh, drop it somewhere in the bank. We, we won't do it right now though, but I'll just leave it on the floor. 
But I can't drop it in here because it's an instance. So we just have it in the inventory until the end of uh, this trip, I guess. We're already 28 cases in. Double dragon plate legs. I think so far this is the best common drop we've seen. Okay, so boss can kill mirror backs sometimes, very rarely it feels like. Double runkai shield. I think it's much easier to farm this the way it is than something like Hydra, for example. I feel like this is much more farmable in a way. Is there a difference between the two harvest options? Yeah, if you decide to sacrifice, you double the chance for the pet, apparently. But you don't get any loot. One of the last gear updates, I'd say, for a while right now. So, gear-wise, I'm still using Blood Fury. I think this is very useful right now. Ultor, Torva, Infernal, Prims, and Ferocious. But my inventory is a bit different. I'm now also going to be using Death Charge alongside Thralls. And we're going to be testing out Elder Maul now. So, we're just kind of testing everything around. But basically, Elder Maul, start of the kill, then Death Charge. And then I should be able to have this up permanently. Uh, but anyways, let's keep on going. We're currently on KC29, so not too bad. We still have 178 to go. Oi, 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 we're gonna be doing this task forever. Kill count number 30. 120 Monkfish. 114, my new personal best. 31 KC. And we get some more Venom Sex. 45 Reforbs. <laughs> man, when this spawn on the last second, bro, they always get to me, god damn it. Oh, man. Okay, we get a U-seed. Damn. Oh, my god. Alright. We're still alive. We're still alive and breathing. I think we bank after this anyways, right? So, good luck me. 34, we get Adamantors. Okay, we have an Exploder, so we go here. Then it comes close. We click here and then here. And that's an 80. Easy. KC35. Sharks. Raw sharks. I can see a Grandmaster task being get a kill under one minute. Or something like that. Once they introduce those. Why does Elder Maul one hit the minion every time? I've noticed that as well. I've not missed on it yet. Maybe there's like, if you have X amount of crush bonus, it will always one hit or something. Crush weapons always max? Yeah, I don't know. It's really good. But I was using zombie eggs before and it didn't always one hit. Took forever to get the last kill there. What do we get? Spider cave teleports. Pretty good. Oh, it's gonna explode. Uh, we're fine. Kill 37. And we get some uh, venom sacks this time around. And some sharks and prayer potions. 38. Death runes. Double room plate legs. Big. Grand exchange roulette. How much do spider cave teleports sell for now? More or less than 100k? Exactly 100k. Kill count 40 already. Double dragon plate legs, one of the best drops I think you can get here. And I think I've made up my mind what we want to achieve for this very first Araxor video. We're gonna go for 100 kills, so 60 more to go. 70 U logs. You're trying to learn the final phase of the fight. Okay, so when you. I would suggest you to put this mute area sounds on. And when you hear the attack, you just move. Like two steps like this, or one step back like this. And both of those will work for you, okay? Wait. I need the bracelet out when I see the XP drop, right? Maybe I re-equipped it too fast. Anyways. 42. Two dragon maces. Let's see what we get. Two maces. 45. And we get more spider teleports. Spider cave teleport roulette. 100k a pop. And they are no longer selling. Sad times ahead, man. Yeah, you can only do this on an Araxite task, correct? 47, Toad Flex Seeds. Okay, 47, Double Rune Plate Legs. 48, U Logs. 49, oh, that's, that's, that's a bad drop. That's the worst one we've gotten. Pure S's, my guy. And halfway through, we got kill count number 50. What do we get? Death Runes. 51, surely we get a piece of the Halberd. No, oh, we get a, we get a Teleports. Okay, 52, Double Rune Plate Legs. 53, Coal. I think you do regular loot until you get every single collection log on this boss and then you start sacrificing loot for double the pet chance if you're a collection logger, right? I think that's the play for sure. 54, a lot of supplies, I can stay here longer. And 55, 70 U logs, I think we have to bank here. Honestly, if the price of this goes super down, I might just start using them. Let's see where they are at right now. If they're like under 50. Okay, they're still on like 75k. I'm down to sell four and just use the other one, honestly. Yeah, we'll do that and then we'll just start using these to get to the kill faster. Okay, we are already on 56. 
Double room plate legs. 57. Uh, some sac and just sac, I guess. That's it. 58. Teleports and... Ooh, 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 ooh. What is this? Coagulated venom. What is this? What is this? We don't... I have no clue. Can I sell this? Hold up. What did I just get? Transmog. What do you mean I got a transmog without a pet? New amulet? Wait, is it an amulet? Can transmog a pet with it? Okay, nobody knows. Let's figure it out. Hold up. Don't tell me that's a pet transmog. I can't sell it. It is a disaster, man. Okay, but it's fine because if we get a pet, it's going to be really sick. Oh, man. We move it into the bank department right here. Wait, you get it at the sub one zero? But that's such a weird number, no? To just get a pet transmog at under one minute and date. It could be that that was the reason we got it. Because we got a super fast kill. So it would make sense. That that was the reason we got the pet transmog actually. I'm saying it's gonna be nothing. Okay, we get supplies. 60. And we get ourselves more spider cave teleports. 61. Earth orbs. Or is this 62? Good luck me. Okay, we just get uh, venom sac. Dude, the kills are getting so nice to where we don't even use any food anymore. 63. Some coal. Let's see what we get for a harvest. Uh, we got more coal, actually. Okay. 65. Supplies. 66. And we get some toad flakes seeds. This is the first time where I actually feel like I need longer anti-venom protection. I would love to stay here longer because we're doing almost no mistakes at this point in the boss. So from now on, it's gonna make sense to start extending our anti-venoms by using the venom sacks on the anti-venoms. So that's kind of what I plan on doing. But anyways, here's KC67. And we get some death runes. So let's go ahead, make a bunch of those and start using extended anti-venoms instead. Kill count 68. Double rune kite shield. A usage. Lovely. Big 70 for rune legs. 71 for supplies. 72. A bunch of adamant ores. I don't think I've seen this drop too often. 73. Oh, second elite clue scroll. Very cool. Gonna be keep on dropping this after this trip. 74. More venom sacks. Let's take a look. 75. We are three quarters of the way done. And we get supply drop with wild pies and the venom sack. 76. Double plate legs. 78. Four. More supplies. All right, let's take a look. 78. Ooh, another elite clue scroll and venom sex. Nothing. A Rek'Sai venom sex is what I meant to say. It's not even nothing. It's like an okay drop, to be honest. Kill count number 80. We got 20 kills to go until this video is over. Here's some antidotes. And 81 for a usage. We have to bank here. 82. More supplies. Runkite shield. Nothing crazy. Some red spider eggs. 85. 15 left to go. More Runkite shields. I think I didn't record that one. Kill count 86 was supplies with venom sac. 87. Oh my god, I'm getting all the rune kite shields in the game. <laughs> Alright. Okay, 88 and for the last trip, I don't think I can do 12 a trip actually, but for this bank I will also bring a ballista, which is a best way, according to some people, to deal with the mirror back spiders. So I want to test this out as well. Okay, mirror back. Let's see. Ballista hit and it dies so and you don't take damage so there you have it if you want to save the little bit of HP every kill You can just ballista the mirror back kill count 89 Supplies big 90 we got 10 more kills to go and even more supplies Wow 91 Mortmire fungus. Oh first time. I think I see a runite or Okay, that's a 130k drop. Not crazy, but I guess it's okay. Some antidotes. Six more kills to go. And we get some Toad Flex seeds. Kill count 95 for supply. I'm, I'm banking here. 96, four more kills to go. And we get U logs. 97, U seed. Two more to go. Another U seed. Kill 99. And now for the 100th kill, we're gonna do a full commentary of an entire kill just to kind of show you how I like to do it. Okay, so kill 100. Let's do a mini guide. Start off with an Elder Mall spec. Obviously, miss it because it's a guide. Pop a little resurrect greater zombie and go at it. Just pray melee, pray piety, hit the boss on the first phase. Now, this time the first pet is the Exploder. For the Exploder, just be next to the boss. When he gets to you, move away and the minion will explode and deal damage to the boss. Very simple mechanic there. 
This mechanic, you just walk it out, hit a little bit because we don't care if we take some damage and just walk out with the poison and just keep hitting. Very simple as well. It takes what, like six steps, five steps somehow to get rid of it. Make sure you're potted, we're potted, we're good. At around the half kill mark, um, there we should be expecting a mirror back pretty soon after this one. Obviously, it's not always the same, but the way we deal with the mirror back is by, well, once again, we need to walk this one out, right? Simple attack, walk it out. Mirror back, we're gonna be equipping a ballista to take care of that when it happens. Um, but it's not happening yet. So that's the mirror back. We're gonna put prayer up and we're gonna ballista it. And then we're gonna put back to piety and go back to the boss. Very simple to deal with. That's why ballista is so nice. And you have a dragon javelin and you don't take a damage when you do it as well. So again, we have the poison attack. We walk it out. Very simple. And now it's a special attack. So... When you hear the chuck chuck, move. Chuck chuck, we're moving one back diagonally. Chuck chuck, move one back diagonally. Or you can move two steps sideways like this. That was late by the way, I'm sorry. So exploder comes, run away when it happens, just like so. And he will deal good damage and then we equip the bracelet right before the kill ends. And we also death charge so the spec comes back. And that's basically how you kill it. It wasn't the cleanest, but I think it was good enough. So, basically, again, during the enrage phase, you either, let's say the boss is in this position right here, right in front of me, you either do two steps to avoid it, or you can step back. What I like to do is, like I like to diagonally step back like so. And that's basically it. Let's see the loot of the last kill of this video, and we get some dragon maces. Not bad at all. But here is where we're gonna end the video for today. 100 Araxor kills on the release. Took me about 4 hours according to the in-game playtime. Expectations were a little bit harder. A lot of people expected Araxor to be more similar to RS3. In RS3, Araxor is a pretty difficult boss fight. And in old school RuneScape, the boss fight is much faster and much easier. But even though it is easier, if I don't compare it to the RS3 variant, I did enjoy the boss fight quite a lot. We haven't gotten any drops, so I'm definitely gonna be killing a lot more. And if you're interested, if you get any uniques or anything like that, do feel free to join us on the live streams, both on Twitch and YouTube. Thank you very much for watching today's video, and have a beautiful rest of your day.